It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Shut up, 263 uh, yards. I was going to say the shoon of the week, in case oh. you're just joining us. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, it's just like this, no, this <laughs> constant... <laughs> That's pretty not, good. I will not mention Actually, how well you did in the shoe of the week after pummeling our granny. 47 Nancy and 33. Boston. That's all we do. Okay, you, Baker Mayfield. the weekend, how did you do? Four and four two. Four and two. Thank Baker you. Mayfield, 263 yards, three touchdowns. Brown scored 28 points first quarter. They stunned the Steelers. They're stunned. 48-37 and Pittsburgh to advance to the AVC, AV, AFC and ABC. Uh, no, it'll be on uh, CBS. <laughs> AFC divisional round. Kareem. No, but seriously. It'll Kareem. <laughs> Kareem Michael Hunt added 48 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. <laughs> Cleveland's defense forced five turnovers. Uh, Big Ben threw for over 500 yards and four touchdowns and four picks and so to speak. So the head coach that wasn't there, is he going to lose his job now to the guy who did this game? No. Well, Mr. Boy, oh boy, you girls, <laughs> whoever is not here, let's talk about him. He's well, in the I base felt now. bad. Well, apparently we didn't need him. I told you. I told you we didn't need him. God, and the shoes he wears. I've never seen anything like that. Did you see who he slipped with. Oh. I mean, I know the team's colors are brown and orange, but geez. Good yeah. Lord. They are ugly. Did you sorry. watch the Browns last night, Tom? Were you excited? Were you happy? I was sleeping. Oh, geez. Yeah, but when you found out, you must have been excited. I got up at 2 o'clock this morning. Well, of course you, you did. Went, all right. You could have watched the first quarter. It was 28 nothing. <laughs> the first, the no. first play of the game, yeah. Tom, Marquise Pouncey. Always waiting. <laughs> uh, all, pro safe, all pro center snaps the ball over Big Ben's head. Whoops. Touchdown, I, Brown. It was asleep at 7.30. All Gosh. right. Blissfully. Must, well done. Right. Well you done. must be so proud. Uh, Drew Brees. I'll call you when I get up tonight, okay? Yeah. Do. Please do, because I was up, but probably the yelling in the Call me. Drew Brees threw for two touchdowns. Kamara ran for 99 yards and a score. Saints 21-9. Win over the Bears on Nickelodeon and CBS. And old Mitchell Trubisky won the Mitchell uh, Nickelodeon MVP voted on by, by the people watching. That's right. He was he was leading that for pretty That's much the right. whole time. 40, they, the kids love Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> Why, what, what is the explanation for that? Well, when someone broadcasts a game, Tom, they have whoever the viewers are voting on certain categories. Well, I understand the procedure, and you the moron. MVP. No, I, I don't was, think I you do. I would like your you're editorial. The moron. They voted for the MVP, and Trubisky won it. Why? Because they People were just you. voting for him. It's a fun kids thing. Mm -hmm. like how because they SpongeBob counted the votes, okay? The Mr. only awkward thing with the Nickelodeon broadcast was when one player was overheard <laughs> saying, Mother F. Oh! <laughs> yeah. They didn't mommy, quite know mommy. what to do. Yeah, to be yeah. fair, the only person that had said that on Nickelodeon prior to this was Plankton. Yeah, yeah. Because well, that guy. You know, yeah. Let me tell you he something. He wants that recipe thing. <laughs> Plankton <laughs> is one of my favorite cartoon characters. Oh, sure, yeah. He's, He's teeny tiny, but he wants to take over <laughs> yes. the world. He's a Plankton, Tom. Uh -huh. Of okay. course. Okay. Very small. So I'm just saying, is there a reason that Mr. Trubisky is so popular with the kids? Why do you know? No, in this case, it must have just been more people from Chicago called That's in than when uh, I was. Yeah, I was you like to ask the question, why, don't you? To get yeah, people I, I, in trouble. I'd like to ask, why is this interesting? And uh, No, no, we'll get to that during <laughs> the world record <laughs> yeah. that you yeah. pick. <laughs> Lamar Jackson ran for 136 yards and a long, long touchdown and uh, set new records for curse words uh, live on some streams. Uh, it was not on my television. ABC had their finger on the button, but <laughs> I thought my sound was going out. But that first, that first touchdown he scored, uh, Lamar used some of the classics. Uh -huh, that's uh, classic. Man, everybody knows the classic one. You know, the mothers, the mm -hmm. bull, the mm -hmm. kiss my... Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, hey, if you yeah. score a touchdown, don't, don't don't do some new cuss word. Play the hits. That's Play right. The hits. Yeah. Give the, the people classic. what they want. Yeah, act yeah. like you've been there before. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Ravens 20 to 13 over the Titans in Tennessee. I missed that one. One of the rare misses for this weekend. Do you, play, if you, Brable, if you notice, you notice that uh, a couple together. things that uh, oh, I think find it kind of interesting that the networks um, will say, hey, uh, the, that, as the one game ends and uh, the blah, blah, blah game will be on ABC next. They're promoting the other networks, which I thought is kind of surprising. They've all Always done that forever. 
I'm it's going good. to say over a decade, if not 20 years, they've done that. The NFL has a say in that. And the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, the NFL <laughs> says, hey, yeah. you want your billion dollars. <laughs> right. Do yeah. you like the fact that when they show the score, they just have the logos instead of the team names on some of the networks? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I don't have a gripe about any anything the networks do. It's too, other much, too much work. Than the 12 people that they have to <laughs> do the pregames. I don't like, they should do away with the pregames. You're but. like if an alien oh, yeah. had to come <laughs> to America right. and pretend to go on a sports show. Right. These are the questions an alien would ask yeah. about football. Walk in my shoes, pal. Uh, I watched for only one minute, but my computer put together a procedure. <laughs> I can I, take it. I, I, Dan I'm Patrick wrong. will never know. You're very correct I don't in understand that this. Why are they lo using logos? for I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Some of the logos look a lot alike. It's hard for me to discern what the hell's going on. You're a logoist. So, yeah, you're... so hang on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here's my struggle. After what some would, and we've got another game tonight, some would say the best three days for football fans. In the Tom, <laughs> sure. the presentation that his problem is, his gripe, it's the logo <laughs> presentation <laughs> on the broadcast. He, want, he wants the name spelled out. He wants the actual name spelled out at all times. This is what I'm dealing with. Did they do that for the kids? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't watch I the think you would have really broadcast. liked that broadcast because they often uh, would they would go over rules as though a child were learning them. <laughs> you might That'd be good for me. Yes. Yeah. It was, I, I kind and, of, and when someone scored a touchdown, they, they had slime coming from everywhere, man. The, the yeah. end zone was covered in slime. They had some hilarious. of their Nickelodeon cast doing impressions. They would say, <laughs> oh, what would uh, Barack Obama uh, say about this? And one of the kids would do the voice. That's right. Really? That's when I would turn to CBS and then... I would, <laughs> uh -huh. I don't need to hear the Cardi B impression. Boy, that, that was interesting. Uh, they did a Cardi B impression? Yeah, wow. the one girl who was uh, helping announce. Nance and uh, Romo did uh, the CBS, and they had to give you a quick glimpse of what the Nickelodeon guys were doing. And Romo, uh, Nance goes, yeah, here's uh, Nickelodeon there, and this is what it looked like when they score a touchdown on Nickelodeon. <laughs> and you can hear him just go... I have end, reached the end of my career. <laughs> it was it was it was actually very It'll be well done. Really interesting to see how the ratings are. They had Nate Burleson, like he's a yeah, NFL guy, yeah. uh, on the well, network. As he, my he twenty-two one. year old said, if I turned on wanting to watch iCarly and there was football, I would have been so mad. <laughs> That's true. Hey, let me yeah. tell you something. iCarly, amazing series. It's a great series. Great show. That kid but Gibby's real funny. Well, I don't know how many kids really were that interested in watching. Well, I said, I'm, it'll be interesting to see but, how. I, and the, the young lady announcing asked interesting questions. Oh, of, of, she would say, no kidding. So what does it feel like to get tackled? Like simple questions that you never, and the guy would go, oh, well, it hurts a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I loved it. And again, as I've said for many years, I would love to see many of the announcers who are not veterans of the game get tackled. <laughs> to see, like, yeah. I'd like to see Jim Rome take a guy oh, well. <laughs> well, just have a guy take him down hard. <laughs> yeah. Just one time. <clears throat> and your thoughts? You criticize movies. You've never made a movie. You criticize everything, and you've never done nothing but sit there <laughs> and judge, oh, okay? Of course, you get up before you go to bed. You haven't made any money since 1987. I know the, all these things. <laughs> oh, I've made plenty. I just don't get any of them. <laughs> Are you chilly in there, Christy? God, yes. It's freezing in here. It is so cold. This time of morning, check out the listening. Yeah, it's uh, like it, gets, it gets colder in here, and it's odd. I don't know what's going the on. The ghosts come in and take a seat. Oh. Yeah, they do. Yeah, wow. Well. Do you believe in ghosts, Tom? This morning I thought I saw one here in the building. Yeah, really? You very well may have. You yeah. very well may have. Yeah. yeah it was well, a couple of things. Here. A lot of ghosts here. Yeah, I, I got yeah, a couple a guesses of guesses of which one it was. <laughs> yeah. uh, the point is, uh, we have a Willie G over there. I think that's pretty much everybody. Was it carrying a Miller Lite? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> In fact, it was. I, I'm not sure what that means. I, uh, Where else would he be, right? for You raise a very good point, Christy. Now, I, I want to get back to the action here, but I... Uh, oh. Oh. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Well, hey, Donnie, Donnie, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm getting all excited. About what? I'll tell you, well, this is going to be my year. I'll know it now. Yeah? 
And I keep checking the mailbox, waiting on my stimulus check to come in. <laughs> and I was watching the 24-hour knife channel the other day. Mm-hmm. What? And, you know, they cover it all. Cutco, everything from Cutco to OJ. Anyways, I got my eye on a new samurai sword. It's badass. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Christy, it's got two eagles fighting a snake engraved into the steel. Oh, nice. sounds oh, lovely. Cool, yeah. It's made, the handle's made from a 100% mummified timber rattler. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> How many samurai swords you own, Tom? Uh, zero, actually. <laughs> Josh? I don't have any, unfortunately. I figured Godwin already pawned his. <laughs> <laughs> that is indeed in the pawn shop. Yeah. I'll say like this. People's always talking about like investing in bitcoins and stuff. Right. But there's a lot of money in swords. <laughs> and no seven-day waiting period, like for guns or uh, really? angel mm-hmm. skinners. But <laughs> that's why I'm here with my new business that I invented. I'm taking all the way shark tanks. Oh. Tom, I don't know if you can put some reverbs on me or play some standard bumper music. (laughs) Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Donnie Baker. You're probably wondering how I was able to maintain this estate with a functional carport, above ground pool, and ample land to showcase my boat that's for sale. Yeah. What's Bitcoin trading at today? What are the odds you'll match your 401k and scratchers again? How do you think Steven Seagal's got so rich, famous, and bloated? Take it from me. Us bakers know a thing or two when it comes to investing. Good. Yeah. And the fact remains, samurai swords were the very first precious metal. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh. That's part about buying samurai swords. You can route off all your swords on your taxes. It's no different than investing in copper, silver, or gold. Look at my Aunt Putty. She used to sell true romance sex toys out of her car. And she wrote up a double donger last year just because it looked like a samurai. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, right. IRS was none the wiser. <laughs> so you heard it here first. I'm looking out for you, America. Protect your home and your future with samurai swords. You can buy them through Donnie Baker Enterprises, Cash Only Corporation. <laughs> Order today. You'll receive a free decal for your car that says pork sword on board. Oh. <laughs> <Pretty good. laughs> All right. Prospectus and information is available behind boonies today at four. <laughs> hey, what's in your safe? I'm Donnie Baker and I can prove this message. Uh, okay. uh, remember F D C C and I'll have it. Uh-huh. Tom, can I get a tape of that? Okay. Sure, oh, sure. That's very good. Oh, be a big Dying. safe to hold a samurai sword. Uh, yeah. I didn't know there was a knife channel. I didn't uh, either. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. You know what would, you know what would no. cleanse? It, no. I, I know what would no. be the perfect palate no. cleanser. Uh. Of course. How did I not think of this before? Ladies what? and gentlemen, it's oh. the Ace Cosby. Bring that joke, Ben. Joke of the day. Ace, please. Got a friend who's a, he's a carpenter. Oh. Yeah. He became a comedian. Really? Oh. I asked him why. He said he had a really funny drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kind of inside uh, yeah. baseball. <laughs> Joke is sort of everything that's wrong with comedy. A little, little too inside. A little too inside. Little, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. but I liked it, Ace. Thank you very much. Oh, look, the palate has been cleansed. Nursing home in Wisconsin threw a coronavirus vaccination disco party hot, recently. Hot dog. Brookfield's Congregation Home hosted the party Saturday where the Moderna vaccine was distributed to eligible staff and residents. That's nice. The area was decked out with balloons and streamers and the disco music was on the stereo. Why are old people getting it first? I agree. <laughs> Give it to us healthy people. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Oh, I, I God. The other day. Oh, my God. What are they doing? The 86-year-old Navy veteran Robert Fisher said of the shot, quote, it's like nothing, you know? You don't even feel it. All right, well, good for you, Robert. It was the first of three COVID-19 vaccine clinics at Congregation Hall. Playing the disco hits? Yeah. Okay, now, uh... Shane, I got, I got one for you. You got, yeah, yeah, oh, you got a disco hit for us, Pat? Yeah. Okay. Just go like this. <laughs> Wait a minute, he has to tune his guitar. Hang on. Well, you can tell by the way I used my walker. I'm an older man. Got time to talk. <laughs> Cut my meat and cream my corn. A long time ago, I was born, but now we dance tonight. We're going to be okay. This is a hard voice to do. Yeah, yeah, you committed yeah. to it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you take yeah, the key down a little bit. You don't, don't worry about the, what don't worry about the music. What what it lacks in, start again. What it lacks in difficulty, it makes up for, but we can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> well, do you want us to get Dean in there to maybe get a little bass? A nice. little, little thumping bass right, there for you. let's do that next break. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's do that. Uh, let's figure out a better key. Okay. Let's do anything <laughs> okay. that. Listen, I'll tell you what. Don't lose your voice. I'll tell you what. All right. wow. Now, the, the essence of this story is that 
this nursing home in Wisconsin had a party. Right. They had a disco party to get and, the and, vaccine out. And good for them. Yeah. I, I'm glad they're doing that. That's great. Uh, but it kind of reminds me, Pat, another one of your songs. I believe we have the orchestra uh, queued up. Go ahead. Uh, this is a song called First Date. It's about the, uh, with the proliferation of, of some of these miraculous pharmaceuticals, um, the old folks boogie, as the old, song, as the old song goes. Now that um, um, certain pharmaceuticals are in the mix, um, uh, some of the folks at the old folks' home are uh, doing the horizontal mambo, if you will. <laughs> and uh, that, this is a song about um, what happens on a first date. Girl, the food was great, the company even better. Why sit her all night long, going on about the weather? I know it's our first date, and good girls gotta wait, but I just turned 83. You said you're 78. Come on, jump on the paddy wagon, baby. The night is young. <laughs> this is in my key. <laughs> the moon is full. You know what I'm thinking. Let's make love. We're old and we're shrinking. The hour is late. Let's just do it on our first date. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unhook your girdle and take off that face. Let's crawl in bed. Cut to the chase. and be just great. Let's do it on our first date. Put your teeth in a jar by the bed. Look, <laughs> he here who's poking out, waking from the dead. I want you right now, so don't give me no lip. It's too late for your hymen, but I might break your head. <laughs> the hour is late, let's just do it on our first date. Our first date. Oh, yeah. To hell with arthritis, artillery thrombosis, acute angina, and your halitosis. Well, it'll be great. Let's do it on our first date. We're too old to read about moving so fast. So if you're wearing the pants, I'll just hose off your ass. <laughs> I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. Good girls wait all broad swing. You can take off your clothes because I can't see a thing. The hour is late. Let's do it on our first date. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. 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 On our first date. You guys have been great. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? The Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra and a great arrangement by Steve Ali. Yeah. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Oh, uh, yes, babies indeed got back. Yeah. Uh, and we have that uh, that uh, stimulating visual available on the various <laughs> oh my uh, social media platforms. It's hypnotic. I, I can't she, believe they knighted that guy. Oh. Sir Mix a lot. Yeah. Wow. I know. Yeah. Loyalty. She right. could have set a, a, a longer record, but she had to get back to the uh, coven. So. Oh, <laughs> you are mean. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I think we've got everything organized now. Um, in the next room behind the glass. We have uh, Mr. Godwin, a great song, Pat, that you just did. Oh, but thanks. now you um, made an attempt earlier. Yeah, it was a misstep. Please, at, please uh, do it again. Did you, did you and Dean, did you and Dean, I noticed Dean has his bass now. Did you and Dean settle on a key? Yeah, we did. We uh, we re rearranged a little. Okay, bit. Dean, can you give me a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not hearing anything. Is that coming yeah, through your okay. uh, your we system over there? We got this. Okay, well, right, I, here we go. I, I, okay, well, I want to set it up again. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the uh, it's assisted all the setup, living. Matt. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, Christy, this is um, uh, the story about the disco party at yeah, the nursing home. Yeah, nursing home. home in Wisconsin. Brookfield's congregation home hosted a disco party Saturday where the Moderna vaccine was distributed to eligible staff and residents. It was decked out with balloons, streamers. They had disco music on the stereo. It was quite the party, and it was the first of three COVID-19 vaccine clinics that will be held at the home. Well, that's good. Make it fun. 
um, sure. get the vaccine, ladies and gents. And, and Pat, you, you, you were trying to make an attempt, yeah. or you were attempting, I should say, to um, take one of the classics in the world of disco. Yeah, the Bee Gees From classic, the Bee Gees, yeah. uh, and it's tough to sing that falsetto. Boy, is it ever. I'm not going to do that again. Okay, but. and um, you tried to play it on the guitar, and oh, you, you pretty nightmare. much abandoned the guitar after four or five yeah, it's not seconds. Good. And uh, uh, But Dean can play the famous bass we riff. Got, uh, we got everything going okay, over here. We're ready. Go, Go ahead. Count us off, Dean. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. This is nice. Nailed it. I even got the strings. All that from a bass. That's amazing. <laughs> boy, oh boy, look at that. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walker. I'm an older man. I got time to talk. Cut my meat and cream my corn a long time ago. I was born, but now we dance tonight. We're gonna be okay. We all got our vaccine today. I can barely hear. Turn up the band. Take my hand and help me stand. Whether it's Moderna or whether it's Pfizer, we're staying alive. Stay alive. Slow down. Got our vaccination. Now it's time for libation. Guess we're staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Staying alive. Is there a bug in there? <laughs> yeah! Oh, he nailed it. Nice job, dude. Wow. Man, he, that man is truly a one-man band. Uh, oh, yeah. Woo. Uh, well, uh, that was so much hey, better. Hey, Tom, here's a relatable. It's like Briscoe Darlin's jug. I can get all kind of sounds out of it. <laughs> you know, Andy Griffith, Tom? Sure. I've been watching a lot of the Andy yeah, Griffith we, show. Yeah, you know, we heard about, about it all, all the time. Oh, yeah. Whatever gives you a little joy. Uh, I'm not kidding. I've been watching a bunch of them. No, we believe you. Not only we believe you, no, but we... no one cares if you're kidding or not. It's fine. <laughs> Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom.